Well, good afternoon. It's almost one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. I am seeding cereal rye in that five acre patch that we cut silage on down at the neighbor's house. Um, I'm shooting for a bushel and a half to the acre. Uh, gonna be probably a little bit light. I'm gonna have, looks like about a bag of seed left. But I'm just gonna run it out because I don't have any more rye to seed. It's just this spot here. Um, I wanna give a great big thank you to Visor Cattle Company for the for the shout out. That was awesome. I sure do appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna do a video sometime this coming week about the farm, the family, the history, kind of the way I got into doing this YouTube thing and, and uh, some more reasoning behind the way I'm doing or what I'm doing, I guess. Um, I really do enjoy it. That's one reason. I mean, it's it's a fun fun thing to do, and there's a great group of agricultural guys out there that are doing this, and it's it's in part to those guys why I'm doing it. Um, if you look straight ahead of me there, that's my cornfield on the other side of this pasture here. I think I'm going to be combining corn before beans. I haven't walked out and pulled any ears yet. I might do that yet this afternoon and, and maybe take a moisture sample. But, boy, she's come a long ways in the last 10 days. Of course, it's been 80 degrees, too. We're talking 80s the rest of the, most of this week and possibilities of some showers. So I wanted to get this ride put in. I did have to work it. I didn't want to. I wanted to no-till it, but when we chopped, it was a little wet, and they left some ruts and whatnot out here that were not going to be feasible to, to no-till um, the rye in this year. Uh, plans are, see how it comes up in the spring, I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to either, I'm either going to hay it and no-till beans into it, or... I might combine this. I'm really, really thinking that if, if it puts on a good seed head and grows well, I might, I might combine this and sell it for uh, cover crop seeds and use it as my own. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. If I combine it, I am probably going to no-till sorghum out here for forage again. Um, but if I, if I hay it, it's going to be soybeans. Uh, and then this will go back to alfalfa in 2020. Because that's what my rental agreement with the neighbors are. This, is, this was time to be torn out last fall. And we, we plowed it up and planted corn here this year. So uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's going on. And say a big a big thank you again to Visor Cattle Company. I, I just I couldn't believe it when he said our channel's name on his on his video. I was really tuned into listening to what he had to say about his sorghum, and that's really got me interested in how that's all going to work out. And and, and uh, man, I, I I went from 11 subscribers to 62 as of this morning, overnight. That's just crazy and I sure appreciate everybody that's subscribed and commented and everything it's, it's a neat group of guys out there so uh, just want to say a huge thanks and have a great Sunday